welcome back for exercise 8 descending your aircraft let's get started so when we are descending our aircraft from our altitude we have an acronym known as PSAT Papa Sierra Alpha Tango is this a procedure or flow that we use to descend our aircraft in the correct order so let's get started so quickly running through PSAT the PAPA stands for power so whenever we descend we will reduce our power to, um, from cruise 2300 to 1800 RPM in this instance as we know from effect of controls when we reduce our power as such let me demonstrate we're going to reduce the power and if we do not add any inputs on the control column the nose will tend to lower towards the landing gear so for you when you are reducing the power at the same time you need to ensure that you are adding back pressure on the control column to maintain straight and level flight so once you have started to reduce the power if you have a reciprocal in operating engine in your aircraft you should have a copy on the right you can go ahead and turn that on or the correct term will be copy it um, out. from here we will go to speed so where we are going to reduce and or just wait for the speed to reduce a little bit more to about 18 knots or um, the correct miles if you're using miles from here we're going to alpha its attitude so we're just going to lower the nose so we have about a um, going from a straight and level flight a four finger attitude into a six to eight finger attitude for a descent and then as always we will finish off with the trim to alleviate any pressures we might experience on the control column that is fighting us back so let's descend to 8500 feet so first thing reduce the power to 1800 rpm whilst maintaining a straight and level flight All right, so let's just reduce a little bit more if you have a carpet carpet will go on hot wait for the speed now to reduce to about 80 knots in this case then we gently just lower the nose for a four a six to eight finger attitude and then you looking to maintain about a 500 a rate of descent per minute always also remember your vertical speed indicator has that three second delay so you might get a little bit of different um, fluctuations in the start and then lastly trim in that part perfect so then we'll just keep flying okay then what you want to do 100 feet feet before your leveling off altitude we're just going to keep going down in this spot keep flying down there's 100 feet so now i go copied off or called apply 2300 feet rpm and then gently raise the nose and fly four finger attitude for straight and level and that should put you on your designated altitude wait for the speed to increase and then retrim your aircraft because remember you're now different altitude different altitude means different atmospheric pressures acting on your aircraft's control surfaces so as you have remembered from the climbing exercise each time we climbed to 1000 feet higher we needed to lean the mixture so now for the descent each 1000 feet that we are descending we now need to reach in the mixture meaning increasing the reach so therefore if your simulator allows you then this mission knob you are always able to give one turn towards the right uh, or clockwise position if you can't just add a little bit like a few millimeters and this will then um, make sure your airflow 
uh, ratio with your fuel is correct at all times. From here, you can then go ahead and do the Frida checks again. Foxtrot Romeo Echo Delta Alpha Sierra. So, Foxtrot meaning fuel. So, are we still on both or left or right? If you were a piper, then you would probably now switch from your right tank all the way to your left tank. But in this case, we're flying a uh, Cessna with the option for both. Manual, the operating manual says we need to leave the aircraft fuel on both, so we'll keep it. Moving on to the next line is on Foxtrot, is just to make sure all the fuel quantities is still correct for our planned flight. From here we'll go to Romeo, which is the radios. Just confirm we are on the correct frequencies that we need to be in or if we're using VORs that we are flying towards the correct VOR. From here we will go to Delta, meaning the DI. In, in this case, if we have drifted a little bit, then you can either um, get back onto your assigned heading. Um, but before you turn, the most important thing what I want to show you is if your compass and DI is not aligned, um, then you are going to roughly fly, you're going to chase, chase the wrong heading. Because remember the magnetic field is actually um, working um, or is just making a little bit difficult for our DI to stay in tune. So therefore, if we are now looking, we're roughly flying about 340. So it's going to change that way. So we are now 340, but you'll find if you're flying north, uh, correction, east or west, it might be off by a little bit. So if you actually now fly towards your elected heading, um, you are going to be off course. So first on a DI, make sure compass to DI is set. So we're going to go ahead and set on 340 and then align our heading bug to maintain a straight and level flight. So that's the most important um, exercise when you're actually flying on your navigation flight. From here, altimeter, are we flying our assigned altitude given to us or what we elected, AFIRM? And last one is Sierra, is our safety. Our, um, all the hatches and harnesses still, still secured. Um, if there's a passenger, make just sure they are still keeping their seat belts on for safety reasons. Perfect, and that is it for the descent exercise. I'll see you on the next exercise soon. Have a lucky day.